Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Chicago Thin Crust Tavern Style Pizza. Well, we're all familiar with Chicago deep dish pizza. It's iconic, no doubt about it. But there is another Chicago pizza that's perhaps won over even more hearts of those native to Chicagoland, and that's the tavern style pizza. It's a thin cracker-like crust that's got toppings loaded all the way to the edges. And you usually see it cut party style or tavern style into squares, really snackable little squares that leave you thirsty for more beer, but don't fill you up too much so you can always buy more beer. The tavern's got it all figured out. Well, we're gonna jump right into this and start by making the dough. So we're gonna start by building this dough in the food processor today with 250 grams of all-purpose flour. We don't need that high protein content out of the double aught flour, so we're skipping that. I'm adding 12 grams of sugar, seven grams of kosher salt, five grams of dry active yeast. This does not need to get bloomed first. It's gonna do its work once it all comes together. And then we need to get some warm water, 110 degrees, 150 grams. All these measurements will also be shown in a volume on our blog, which you guys can always get to from the link in the video description. So I'm also gonna add 36 grams of extra virgin olive oil right here to our warm water. We're gonna drizzle this in with the food processor running. You're gonna see it ball up and start to walk around the edges. So we'll give it another 10 seconds. So we're just gonna turn this dough out onto our work surface. Should be pretty sticky right now. So I'll use just floured hands to work this. I'm just gonna knead it just a little bit until we get some nice tension, a little bit of smoothness on the surface. Need that kind of into a ball shape. That's it, no more than that. That's all we need, nice and smooth on top and this is ready to proof. I'm just gonna get some olive oil down in our container. Throw this in here until it's doubled in size. So that's what it looks like when it's fully proofed. At this point, we're gonna turn this out and divide it into two for two separate pizzas. If I'm gonna be particularly accurate about it, I'll just weigh it here. 450 grams. Two twenty-one off by four. I'll take it. So then we're just gonna kind of work this, folding it under itself. Again, putting a little tension across the top of the dough ball. Looking good like that. Give that a little pinch. And then this is going to go into an oiled bowl to rest. So you want this to go into the fridge and sit for at least 30 minutes, uh, but honestly it can sit for hours once it hits the fridge. You do want to get it covered. All right, into the fridge. Moving on to our sauce. We're gonna start with a full 29 ounce can of San Marzano tomatoes. These are whole tomatoes. We're gonna break this down into a nice, smooth, slightly sweet sauce. So it is gonna have two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, as that fat helps to move that flavor around, two cloves of garlic, and one tablespoon Cattleman's Grill Italiano. Throw this on and just blitz it until it's smooth. Easy. Now the sauce we want to cook down, one, to reduce it so it's not so liquidy, and two, to help develop these flavors and deepen those flavors. 
Take note of the color of this sauce right now. It's gonna darken quite a bit as it reduces. We're gonna try to take this down to about two cups, um, but I'll walk through kind of the finishing, how to know when it's done, uh, when we get to that point. For now, put it over medium heat, bring it up to a simmer and then turn it to low and just let it go. So it takes about 20 minutes to get to this point, but what you can see here is that as I pull a spoon through here, it's not filling in behind it. And that's kind of my indicator that this is thickened to right around the consistency that I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna transfer this to a sheet pan and throw it in the fridge so it'll cool down real quick for us so we can get to building our pizzas. So now that the dough balls have had time to rest, we're gonna roll these out nice and thin. So we're actually going to cook our pizza starting out in a sheet pan, uh, which makes it real easy to figure out just how far to roll out your dough because you can just grab a sheet pan and aim for the width of that sheet pan. I imagine there's some places, uh, restaurants that are just using a sheeter where you can take this piece of a dough and run it right through a sheeter, get the exact right uh, thickness every single time but you can totally do this by hand so here's the tricky part about this style of pizza I've cooked this without using this technique and I've cooked it using this technique but when it comes down to it the best way to get a crispy cracker crust is to transfer this to a rack and let this sit on your kitchen counter overnight I know that stinks because now it's a two-day project, but that dehydration that happens uh, is what really allows for this dough to get crispy in the end. So this here is what our pizza dough looks like after it's sat out all night. You see how it's dried out around the edges, but it's still kind of soft. It's still got its puff to it. This is what's gonna give us that beautiful cracker crust, really crispy. Real quick shout out to Kenji over at Serious Eats. If it wasn't for all of his research that he's done on tavern style pizzas, I, my pizza wouldn't be what it is today. And this trick specifically is what really took it to that next level. Rolling this out and letting it sit out uh, uncovered overnight uh, really took it to the next level. So we'll go ahead and build this on the pizza peel for an easy transfer. We're gonna load it up with our sauce first. sauce is cooled down and again one of the defining features about tavern style is you're going to take all these toppings all the way to the edge a little more than i need so on top of the sauce i'm going to put down some fresh oregano Love that fresh oregano flavor. You go fresh oregano, you'll never buy dried oregano again. You never want to. Next, we've got our low moisture mozzarella. Taking that all the way to the edge as well. And then you can do any kind of toppings. Of course, uh, Chicagoans love their uh, Italian sausage. We just did that in our deep dish video, so we're gonna switch it up a little bit today. We're gonna do some pepperonis and some sport peppers. All right, fully loaded. Let's head to the grill. Now today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill, running oak pellets, and I've got the wood-fired oven installed so we can get a really nice quick cook with great browning over the top. We've got it set to 450 degrees. There's kind of a two-step process to cooking this pizza. We're gonna start by cooking it on the sheet pan with a little olive oil. I'm just preheating it right now. 
and that's going to give it a really nice fried texture on the bottom and then we'll slip it off and finish it on the stone. So just about 60 seconds to leave that in there just so that as soon as this oil hits it's going to be hot. Probably one to two tablespoons right there and then we're going to slide our pizza right on top of the hot oil and slide that in there. Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes in now going to see if we can get this off of our pan and into the oven. There we go. All right, it's been another minute now, just giving this a little rotation so that it cooks evenly. We're starting to get some really nice crisp around the edges. But we've got a little ways to go yet. Just over 10 minutes total cook time now. We're getting great browning on the cheese. We've got that crispy crust thing going on the side. Look at that cracker like great crunch. Pulling it off. All right, round two. This is our second pizza. Again, been on for a, a little more than 10 minutes. Got that great crispy crust going. Looks good. Man, you can hear the crispiness. Check this out. Holding up underneath the weight of the toppings, which is great. The bottom's got this almost fried-like texture to it that makes it even kind of flaky for a pizza crust. Let's check out the flavor. Oh, man. Such a cool texture. Because it's kind of like a cracker that's been fried a little bit. not as super crunchy as a cracker because it's also got a nice bit of chew to it. Mm. Sauce is great. A little bit sweet. A lot of those Italian flavors from the Italiano. Pepperoni is always great. Sport pepper. Mm. Love that pickled brininess. Just a little bit of heat. Another tribute to Chicago as well. You'd be tempted to take down a whole pie all by yourself. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.